So I have created a custom action which hopefully will make setting up a mastering session a little bit easier. So I watched this video by John Tidy from the Reaper blog about setting up a mastering project and this is how he sets up his mastering project with the, the tracks in place um, and he kind of does it manually here you can see he's dragging them in moving them in and I just wondered if there was a, a way of kind of automating that so I've created a custom action that does that uh, here so the custom action is create regions from selected items set time selection to items move cursor right to edge of item go to next track select all items in track move position of item to edit cursor create regions from selected items um, i'm going to put this in the notes uh on the video below so what you do is you end up with something that looks like this so if we create a new track and go to our media explorer select all of our tracks drag them in so what happens here is the preference i have set is that all the tracks are inserted across tracks so in the preferences it's in media when importing multiple media items insert in one track or insert across tracks I have it as insert across tracks because that's generally what I'd want for mixing but it still works for this workflow here so what you need to do is just select the first item on the first track and then our shortcut here for our custom action is option P but that's just my choice of shortcut can be anything and then here we go Okay, so if I undo all of that, show you that in a slightly more zoomed out way. So the first item and the first track is selected. We hit our shortcut and it selects and moves our second item and creates regions as we're going. Done. So then when we have our regions laid out like this we can go to the render matrix and select master mix for each one and then when you go to the render window you just select render regions and then in your wildcards uh, for the track names you put a dollar sign region and then i would put something like version one or version two set your your bit rate etc and hit render and then you'll get all of your tracks rendered in the order in which you imported them uh, one thing i should have mentioned before if you have watched john tidy's video he turns off snap and he has ripple editing on so if you wanted to move things you can see as we're moving this track forwards so every track after it in the album moves with it with ripple editing on like that so that's it really uh, i just wanted to show you the the custom action. Hope you find this useful. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.